Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an affable couple in love that loves reacting to some Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, time for Avatar. Yeah, so this is season one, episode 17, uh, The Northern Air Temple. And if you want all of our reactions to Avatar, we have a playlist for you. And of course, we have early ad free access for you on Patreon. You get a month ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. Links in the description of this video. Yes, it is. Okay, you ready to do this? I'm ready. The next time you think you hear a strange, large bird talking, it take a closer a look. Dreamer. It might not be a giant <laughs> parrot, but a flying man. And laugh at those bound to the earth by it. Is that how it was back then? I laugh at gravity all the time. <laughs> gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it back in your pocket, oh. cockroach. Hey, thanks for the story. Boris. It must have been a hundred years ago your great-grandpa met them. Great-grandpappy saw the airwalkers last week. Hey, we're almost to the Northern Air Temple. Do you think we'll really find airbenders? You want me to be like you or totally honest? Oh. You think I'm a liar? I'm saying you're an optimist. Same thing, basically. <laughs> you're just lying to yourself. Hirsch. Benders. No. No, they're not. Gliding, maybe, but not flying. You can tell by the way they move. They're not airbending. Those people have no spirit. <laughs> I don't know, Aang. That kid seemed pretty spirited. Dicks. Shumha's done. I hate his laugh <laughs> so much. Hey there. You're pretty good. Yeah, I know. But I can do more than fancy gliding. Chill, man. <laughs> I don't think I can do that, but here's a good one. Current messages in the sky. Huh. Nice. What do you think? It's great. <clears throat> You're a real airbender. Mm -hmm. You must be the Avatar. That's amazing. I, I've heard stories about you. Wow, this glider chair is incredible. You'd think this is good. Wait until you see the other stuff my dad designed. It must be great for that kid to be able to fly around like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I made fun of his laugh. But who's his dad who designed all these things? This place is unbelievable. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? No, just unbelievable. <laughs> Adam used to come here a long time ago. I think he's a little shocked it's so... Yeah. This is supposed to be the history of my people. Mm. It's nice to see at least one part of the temple that isn't ruined. Look out! <gasps> what the doodle? Don't you know enough? The doodle? You just destroyed something sacred! For a stupid bathhouse! Ah! Ooh. You can't treat it this way. I've seen it when the monks were here. I know what it's supposed to be like. Dad, he's the Avatar. He used to come here a hundred years ago. I should really guess his age just by looking at him. My people became refugees after a terrible flood. My infant son, Teo, was badly hurt. Doesn't that look like it matches her necklace? I didn't see it. Behind Sokka's head. Then I came across these fan-like contraptions. Our gliders? Yes, little light flying machines. Build a new life for my son. In the air. And after all, isn't that what nature does? <laughs> Look at the time. Wait, how can you tell the time from that thing? The notches all look the same. The candle will tell us. You put spark powder in the candle. Four flashes, so it's exactly four hours past midday, or as I call it, four o' candle. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. Wait till you see my finger safe knife sharpener. <laughs> Only took me three tries to get it right. Oh. <laughs> hey, Yang, I want to show you something. I just can't get over it. There's not a single thing that's the same. The temple might be different, but the creatures that live here are probably direct descendants of the ones that lived here a long time ago. You're right. They're kind of keepers of the temple's origins. Besides, there is one part of the temple that hasn't changed. Crab spider? Mm, kind of what it looks like. It's just like the one in the other air temple. Only an airbender can open it. So inside, it's completely untouched. Just the way the monks left it. I've always wondered what it was like in there. This is the last part of the temple that's the same as it Yeah, it's not going to open it. I wanted to stay that way. 
I just wanted you to know it was here. These lanterns are terrible. I can't see. Why would you want to use fireflies for light? Fireflies are a non-flammable light source. So you brought me all the way down here to see an empty room? Wrong. It's filled to the brim with natural gas. Came across it my first time here. Unfortunately, I was carrying a torch. At oh, okay. Thought my eyebrows would <laughs> never eyebrows. Pull back. So this place is an explosion waiting to happen? Yeah, pretty much. The wind will carry you. <clears throat> it supports something inside you, and that something takes over when you fly. I think I was born without that something. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody has it. Spirit. That's the something you're talking about. I suppose it is. <laughs> nice. I can't believe I'm flying. Just make sure you keep your mouth closed so you don't swallow a bug. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> No, Teo's not an airbender. He really does have the spirit of one. <clears throat> I've been thinking, if you want to see what's in that room, I'd be happy to open the door for you. Great. Mm, don't do it, you're going to regret it. What if I land over that? <laughs> and bug. Oh, don't worry, that experiment's old. And that egg was just part of last week's lunch. It's something that's so small you can't even see it makes such a big sting. That's the solution to our problem. If we put a whole mess of rotten eggs in the cellar where the gas seeps up, the gas will mix with the smell of rotten eggs. Then if there's a leak, you smell rotten eggs. And plug up the hole where the gas is escaping. You're, You're a genius. genius. Something's wrong. I've got to go. Oh no. You don't understand. You're making weapons for the Fire Nation. You got some explaining to do. Oh yeah. You make weapons for the Fire Nation? Yes. Explain all this. Now! It was about a year after we moved here. Fire Nation soldiers found our settlement. They asked what I had to offer. I offered my services. I did this for you. Mm. When are they coming? Soon. Very soon. How can I be proud of you and your inventions are being used for murder? I... You need to leave. No time. No, we're not leaving. Then hide, quickly. No. Give me what you owe us so I can be on my way. Is there a problem? No. The deal's off. Hmm. The Avatar. Ang, don't get involved. Too late. Get out of here! Empty-handed. Then the destruction of this temple will be on your head. I hope we have a plan for that, Aang. Mm -hmm. How can we possibly keep them all away? I'll tell you how. Air power. We control the sky. I want to help. Make Good. things right. We'll need it. Yeah, but can't they just set those flyers on fire? Yeah. This boy's a genius. Thank you. You're a genius. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> See, the problem with the old war balloon was you could get it airborne, but once you did, it just kept going. You could put a hole in the top, but then all the hot air would escape. How do you keep a lid on hot air? Ugh, if only we knew. <laughs> <laughs> if you control the hot air, you control the war balloon. That's actually pretty smart. Okay, we got four kinds of bombs. Smoke, slime, fire, and... Stink! Never underestimate the power of stink. No, Bucky. They're coming! Are we ready? Yes, but where's Sokka with the war balloon? We'll have to start without it. Yeah, Momo. Yeah, there's much up the side of the cliff. I mean, you can... Anne can just take them all out. Oh, Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. It's alright, they got enough bombs. And Aang's just gonna cause an avalanche, so it's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no! Mm -hmm. Papa! No, Papa's fine. It's <clears throat> a nifty little thing. Or, big thing. Oh, sh! Okay, it's got more. I'm just gonna shoot back up though with our little 
Okay. It's a neat trick. I think they came prepared for you, eh? Mm -hmm. I think I know how they work. I remember my dad tinkering with the counterbalancing system. Something to do with water. Water? Can you get me close to one? No problem. Yeah, and I can water bend too, so. You just gotta do it on a much grander scale. Oppa! Oppa! Way to go, buddy. Where's that war balloon? Hmm. <laughs> Coming to save the day. Why aren't they shooting at us? The insignia! They think it's you. Yeah. And I guess they won't see this coming. Bombs away! Wait a second. You smell that? Rotten eggs! There! That's where the gas is escaping! What are you doing? That's our fuel source! It's the only bomb we've got! It's alright, hang and your son can go save you. If that's in Crit and Avalanche, I don't know. <laughs> Look! They're retreating! Yeah! We're going down! No. They'll be back though. Nice, Sokka. Yeah. I'm really glad you guys all live here now. I realize it's like the hermit crab. Maybe you weren't born here, but you found this empty shell and made it your home. Hmm. And now you protect each other. That means a lot, coming from you. Aang, you were right about air power. As long as we've got the skies, we'll have the Fire Nation on the run. Yeah. What happens when they come back and Aang's not there, though? Exactly. defeat is the gateway to many victories. And then they got their weapon after all. Sons of bitches. <clears throat> I mean, I was feeling really good about everything until the last minute there. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Hey, yeah, you know, we can defeat them because they have no air powers, but now they do. Cool. I mean, it's only Dude. one, but if they have the mechanism, then they can have the people who can recreate the mechanism and have many more. Yep, exactly. Um, so, felt like winning the battle, but losing the war. I mean, I wasn't going quite that far, but... I mean, not, you know, like, totally losing the war, but, like, you know, I mean, just... They won this battle, but, like, the thing that they were trying to prevent, they ended up not being able to prevent it. Um, so, that sucks. And I am really worried for the Northern Water Temple people who are living there because you know as we said during the episode Aang can't just stay stationed there and defend them for yeah. an indefinite amount of time like he's on the clock he has to save the world by summer <laughs> um, you know and I know it, it's snowy there but that's because of the high altitude I think it's a little bit less snowy down on lower altitude and that means his clock is really ticking everyone though really contributed in this episode uh, Katara did a great uh, with her water bending yep. um, taking out the tanks and I mean, Aang's always a rock star, uh, and um, Sokka then as well, um, coming up with the idea of how to uh, get the hot air balloon working, um, and also like you know, figuring out the the rotten egg smell about about the gas. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I, I love the moment of them figuring that out together, and then like simultaneously giving each other credit. Mm -hmm. That was great. Yeah. And of course, Appa coming in again into battle. I love that. I love that we're getting more Appa in battle. And, uh, you know, just every now and then, just coming in, stank face, growling, beating up some tanks. And I was worried about him because, like, those tanks seemed pretty fierce with, like, spikes all over them. Mm -hmm. And they could climb mountains and, and they could get a bit messed up by Aang's powers and still, come, like, bounce back. And I was concerned. But Appa, man, he's a badass. Yeah, there is something about yes, progress is is great and everything, and um, there's a lot of amazing advances and beautiful cities. But then, like, there's a lot of like nature itself um, that has been, in a lot of cases, you know, sacrificed uh, for that and the and the beauty and like you know, not just maybe 
not only people's homes, but, uh, you know, homes for, for animals as well. Yep. Any predictions? Fire is going to come back with a vengeance. If Aang moves on, I think the people on the northernmost temple are going to get wiped out. If Aang hasn't moved on, then they're going to come back with a vengeance in a very short period of time. Yeah. And it's going to be a bad fight. I mean, I don't think Aang can move on. They, they're at the, like, they're going to have to move. They're going to have to, I mean, I know they want to stay at that temple, but Aang can't stay there indefinitely. And so the Fire Nation will come back and they're going to have to, uh, and like, also, Aang has to be in the move because the Fire Nation knows that Aang is there. They're really going to come back with all, with every everything that they have to take him take him out and capture him. Um, so he really kind of can't stay there. Can't stay there. But if he's gone, they're defenseless. Yeah, it's a really so bad situation to, to be in. Yep. Uh, let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad free access, get a month ahead or more, or see your full watch along reactions. Then check out Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Avatar The Last Airbender, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. Oh, no.